Thank you for stopping by. If you've been here before, welcome back. If not, I appreciate you coming to check out Cosmic Light Body, my channel on YouTube. In this video, I'd like to discuss from my actual experience what time is like and how it is received from the perspective of the fifth dimension. So I was fortunate enough recently to be guided to a spot here near my, in my hometown where the 5D earth grid is anchored. This place I was guided to was a park and a very peaceful space near an area where I grew up. And when I, when I got there, I was able to um, align my frequency to the 5D grid. I was surrounded by all these energies and my guide was with me. So it was very easy for me in this peaceful place, this anchor point, to shift my awareness and align with the 5D grid matrix. And I've been in the 5D grid before. I've been there with my consciousness. I've been there physically, but for very short spans of time, I haven't always been aware of it. My guides would make me aware of it. This time I was guided there and my guides were with me along with many multidimensional energies surrounding this space. When I was there, what struck me was how I was able to perceive time. And this is very different. I know we hear on a lot of content, things we're reading, that time doesn't exist beyond the third and fourth dimension. Well, I can assure you that there is an element of time in 5D. However, it is seen completely differently, and I'm going to explain. Traditionally, in three-dimensional space, when we're here, our perception is such that we see time linear. So what does that mean? That means that we have a past, we have a present, and we have a future. Time appears as a line. Now we are on the line, so we are able to look back in terms of memories and look forward in terms of expectations, and we have our present moment. That is time in third dimensional space. Now when I was on the 5D grid, I was able to see time completely differently. So basically what it was like was if you take that line of 3D time and you grab it by each end and you curve it around so that it forms a wheel, like a circle. And the wheel has spokes, like a bicycle wheel, if you could picture that. So we have the rim, we have the spokes, and we have the center or the hub. The fifth dimensional grid allowed me to see time from the center, whereas in 3D we perceive time from the rim. So when we're out on the edge of the wheel, in the rim, let's say the edge of a spoke, in order to get to the next moment, we need to walk along the rim to get to the next spoke. However, when we work our way from the edge of the wheel, the rim, towards the center line or the hub, we are rising in vibration, rising in consciousness. And as we get to the hub, now we are able to perceive all the spokes from that, that one space. Our awareness allows us to look and see everything. So what does this mean? That means that we have an awareness, we have a choice. We are able to look down a spoke and actually pull that experience back into the center of the hub and experience it in the now. And this is how we operate in 5D. This is how time is perceived. Whereas in 3D, we don't have that luxury. We have to go around the rim of the wheel to the next moment, moment to moment to moment to moment. So how do we get from the rim to the center? That is ascension. That is raising our vibration. That is expanding our awareness. And as we do these things, we start to move from the rim down the spoke towards the center line. And that is how time is perceived in the fifth dimension. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Go ahead and click the subscribe button if you found that this content resonated with you. I'm going to be putting stuff up frequently um, around these, these types of subje subjects of spirituality, enlightenment, and so forth. Uh, also, jump on over to Instagram at CosmicLightBody11. Go ahead and follow. Uh, for some really cool short videos and things of that nature uh, that are put up uh, throughout the week. Thanks again.